Rob Mills. Hi there. Finn Kelly. Why is he here? And is he trouble for Ellie? Hello, we have the lovely Rob Mills joining us today. Hi, Rob. Hey, how are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm uh, pretty good. Loving, loving London. Recovering from the jet lag? Uh, yeah, it's, it's taken a few days. Still a little nauseous, but um, it's well worth it. You know, 22 hours flight, a couple of days of sickness, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? You're actually suffering from sickness because... Well, I was a bit nauseous. Not really sick, sick, but yeah, just a little bit, little ill. But no, I've, I've been drinking my way through it. It's been, it's been great. I've been loving it. Soldiering on. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> what do you think of the London pub culture and the this drinking scene here? Oh, I mean, just... I've been catching up with a lot of friends here. Um, social drinking, I'm okay with it. Um... I've been to see shows here. Uh, I just love London, getting around on the tube. Stayed in Islington for a bit. I'm in Soho at the moment, and it's, yeah, I'm loving London. I think I want to move here. I think you should move here. <laughs> I'm not sure how neighbours would feel about that, though. Well, uh, yeah, we'll, well, hopefully they'll, they'll be okay with it, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so, back to work. It's a business. Um, your history is in musicals, is that correct? That's where you started out? Yeah, I well, started off singing um, in pubs mainly when I was a kid, so from like 17 to 21 to singing in rock bands, just doing cover bands, everything from like Pearl Jam, Foo Fighters, 90s rock, you know, Creed and all that sort of stuff. So a lot more kick-ass stuff, not like musicals at all. How did you get into uh, musicals? I, I came over to, the, to London in 2006. I saw some shows. Uh, I saw Wicked and Avenue Q, We Will Rock You, and I realised musical theatre wasn't just all... At Rogers and Hammerstein and Jeff <laughs> yeah there were actually cool rock pop contemporary shows being made um, which sort of inspired me and I did drama in high school so I vowed to when I got back to Australia to get into Wicked and that's sort of how I got my path into into musical theatre so I've done shows like uh, Wicked, Legally Blonde, Grease and Ghost You've got a very impressive CV, it has to be said. Oh. Or do you guys call it a resume? Yeah, a CV resume, yeah, 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 thank you. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. You you did, Wicked was your first role? Yeah, so it was like a, a dream come true. Um, got back to Australia and took up, just, I realised I probably didn't have the time to go to NIDA or WAPA, is our big performing arts school over there. And... I just took lots of singing lessons, acting lessons, spent the money just investing in trying to train myself, basically. And, yeah, um, four auditions later for, for Wicked with the, um, the American creatives who came over from, um, from Broadway. Um, yeah, so it was basically my first audition for a musical was a Broadway audition. That's uh, incredible. Yeah, so, yeah, four auditions in, in three months, and I got the role. And how long were you on Wicked for? I did the, the the Melbourne season and the Sydney season, so uh, 14 months in Melbourne and then another nine months in Sydney. So a pretty in pretty long run, yeah. But I'm chuffed to be the yeah the original Fira in Australia. That is amazing, absolutely amazing. And then you went on to do Cre Greece, Legally Blonde, mm -hmm. and you even played the Patrick Sazy role in Ghost. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was yeah last year. Um, got to we did a six month tour of Australia. Um, with uh, the UK creatives came out and put the show in, into Australia, which is an incredible experience. I mean, that, that show is so powerful. I mean, the movie is really powerful. It won Best Screenplay. Um, I got nominated for Best Actor for the first time, uh, which is amazing. It was a nice little pat on the back. We don't do it for the accolades or the awards, but it's... It it's was a nice little bonus. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was nice to be recognised. I was. Yeah, I was pretty chuffed. You I did just, win. I should have here. Yeah. <laughs> you did win some awards for Wicked, though, didn't you? Yeah, the show. I mean, the show won so many awards. Um, I mean, of course, that show won so many awards. I mean, it's just the most. I think it's one of the most incredible shows ever. Yeah, it's still ever. huge in London as well. Everyone loves it. Yeah, well, I mean, look at the, you. Look at the storyline. It's it's such a great story for young women and for a young for, for society to see that you don't need a, a man to to. Say Save the day. It's all about young, about female empowerment. A young girl who thinks that she's different, but, she, but it's okay to be different, and it's okay to follow your um, your dreams and uh, and embrace that. And, yeah, embrace embrace your your own and keep your own integrity. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good message. Um, you were also on Australian Idol. You're one of the finalists on Australian Idol. Yes, in their first series of uh, Australian Idol, so that's 2003, which means, I don't think your pop idol was what, 2001, 2002? UK pop idol when it first started? Yeah, because pop idol came before 
X Factor yeah. and all of that stuff. So we were the very first series in uh, in Australia, and yeah, I came fifth on the sh- on the show, and it was great. I was signed to a record label, um, released an album, did some singles. Yeah, toured toured the country. It was one of those, you know, everything's great, and then the record company merged with another record company, and I got dropped, and then it was back down to singing in pubs for a while and labouring and. Well, you're, you're so talented. You you are kind of. I mean, you say you're not a dancer, but I think you're kind of a triple threat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I okay. I pick up the Corey when I have to pick up the Corey. Which is choreography, people. Yes. Yes. Choreography. Yeah. Choreography. Not Coronation Street. Yeah. 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 yeah well, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, so, do you have any other aspirations of of pursuing more music or, or um, possibly musicals? More music. Uh, look, music. Maybe if it's. Yeah. I don't know. I, I still love. Like, there's nothing in my downtime. I'm picking up a guitar and just sitting around with friends and having a jam and yeah. singing. I mean, I, I went to just the other night. I just had the night off before I was meeting up with some friends who were doing some shows here. So I was like, oh, I looked at the watch. I was like, oh, there's Rocky Oki on it. Um, what's that, Covent Garden at the Roadhouse? Rocky Oki. At the Roadhouse as a band. So I went down and just sang a bit of uh, The Killers, Mr. Brightside with the band. There's a competition and you can win prize money. But I, That's amazing. I just left. I was like, they're like, oh, you're really good. I was like, Thanks, man. It's my job. Did they recognise you? No, 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 no one recognised me. I just went because I just love singing with a band. But yeah, I'm hoping like, aspirations for the future. Of course, more TV, film. Um, really enjoy my time on Neighbours, but um, I still do really, really love the musical theatre. And there's so many shows here in London. And so. it's nice to be so adaptable and be able to do anything, really. Well, yeah, it's yeah. I've been extremely fortunate in the last. It's very, very. Um What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Humble. Humble. Thank you. Yeah, so look, I've, I've had a few meetings this week while I've been here in London. and um, so maybe do you think a move here could be on the card? Well, I've got to get a visa, but yeah. Was, or, or marry an English lady. Yeah, oh, that's... Okay. Yeah. okay, that can be done. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if, you're, if you're out there and, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. I'm sure there's a lot of ladies who would um, happily marry you. <laughs> Just let me know. Uh, at Rob Millsy Mills, you know. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so tell us a bit about your character in Neighbours. You play Finn Kelly. Yeah, Mr. Kelly, he is, uh, he's the new school teacher who's come into Erinsborough High to shake things up. Um, he's obviously love, in love with Ellie. Um, he, he had a, a past affair with Ellie. He was married. Well, he was married. He was married, and Ellie and him have, you know, had some, have, have some history. And he's come back to Erinsborough to basically win her back. And also leave a legacy. Um, he's, he's a very inspiring school teacher. I relate. He's quite manipulative, though, isn't he? <laughs> well, a little bit, but I still, at his at his core, I still think he's a good guy. I still think he really enjoys teaching. He loves he loves the kids and really wants to inspire them to be their best. Um, it just so happens he hasn't got a lot of time to do that. So he's trying to fast track everything, which puts him into this downward sort of almost psychotic spiral about how to fulfill his dreams in such a short amount of time. So if he doesn't get his way with Ellie, he quickly turns on her. If he doesn't get his way becoming principal, he turns on the people who stand in his way, like Susan. Sorry, Susan. (laughs) And I love Susan. Yeah, he's a bit of a control freak, but he's he, he knows what he wants and he's determined to get it. Yeah, he's super determined. But as I said, yeah, as I said, it's it's almost it's borderline it's, it's psychotic now. He's, <laughs> he's he's losing any kind of empathy that he may have had as a real human. But I think it's because of the you know the aneurysm and the yeah the ticking and the medication time. and yeah. everything that he's under. Um, his relationship with Xanthi as well. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Well, Finn is, uh, I think he really, really likes Santhi and mm-hmm. sees the good in her and sees her as a really good person. But uh, he w- obviously he wants to inspire her to, to become a nurse and to be a better person, which I think her, you know, she's becoming um, a, f- a far better student and she's, I, 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 he thinks he's helping, but Mo- Rob Mills, Rob Mills, <laughs> Rob Mills, I think, thinks he, she's growing up too soon. He's letting her into, into an adult world that she shouldn't be privy to. Like, sure, she is grown up and she's mature, but no one should be, no teacher should have that sort of relationship with their with their students. So he's manipulating her too far, I think. But Finn Kelly's like, well, I, I need her. I need I need her to keep this secret. It's so important for him to. So as I said, he will do whatever it takes. And how have you found audience reaction um, when you walk into the street? <laughs> everybody, everybody hates me. Everybody You're like, hates why? Me. People on the street. Some, some. I think she must have been Welsh because I couldn't understand her. But she stopped me on the street the other day. She said something. I don't know what she said, but I, there was definitely Finn Kelly in there. I understood that. Uh-huh. But she seemed angry. <laughs> 
there's been a lot of um, talk in the press actually about a teacher who had a relationship with a student and they ran off. She was 15 years old. I don't know if anyone ever brings that up to you. Uh, that happened at my school as well. Uh, yep, yeah, that has happened at my old high school. So it wasn't you, was it? No, 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 <laughs> no, no not, not I. Uh, but I can imagine you become infatuated or um, idolising. Yeah, but there are certain rules, and there are, you know, there is yeah protocol and just m- morality. I think should should stand in the way, shouldn't it? I, I, th- I think I, so. But and especially with Finn, he never really. I spoke to the writers in the first the first uh, week when I got to got to neighbours and they said we don't want we want to keep that tension but we don't want it to ever become that storyline. I think it's more they thought it was more powerful if it was creating the tension without it being oh that's too far you know yeah so I'm I'm really I'm really glad it's um, the relationship between Finn and Xanthi has become that. Um, him sort of just using her a little bit more instead of it being more romantic. Um, but I, I think he definitely, yeah, he he genuinely cares for her. But you'll but see he's in all, love with Ellie. He's definitely in love with Ellie. Yeah, it's all about Ellie. he's always loved her, <laughs> uh, which is it's so sad for him because she just doesn't love him back. It doesn't matter what he does. So how is it? And I can see why she's got you know good judge of character. Absolutely, absolutely. Ellie's a very good judge of character. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, so could you tell us a bit about how? You, what was it like joining a cast like Neighbours? Because it's such an iconic show and it's been around, what, since 1985, I think it first aired. Yeah. Um, did you feel a sense of pressure or were you just like wel- welcomed like into the family? Or? I was welcomed with open arms, to be honest. Like the first day around set and the green room, the cast, crew, everyone was like, just, hey mate, welcome. Like, how long are you here for? What are you going to be doing? And I was like, oh, this, this, like, oh, great storyline. Like, Ryan, uh, you know, I think the second day, Ryan was like, hey man, do you want to read through any of your scenes? I was like, actually, I would love to just go through a few things. Mm-hmm. He gave me some some pointers. He goes, well, what about maybe hit this word a bit harder? And like, which is great. Ryan's been doing it for you know 20 years or something. He knows his stuff. And also, Jackie couldn't have been more helpful i don't know if she knows this but she became a bit of a mentor for me on on set while i was while i was there and yeah, incredible we would always banter really well with and uh, make different choices throughout the scenes and it was always really fun to play um sort of different different scenarios every day with, with jackie yeah she's yeah. brilliant and yeah she's been there what 25 years i think i think so at least yeah, yeah. i grew up watching neighbors neighbors was filmed like two suburbs away from where i lived in that, melbourne that's amazing yeah. so did you feel like a sense of pressure like this is oh, this is neighbors yeah. oh yeah like so <laughs> so nervous nerve-wracking um to be there my first day was in the principal's office with, <laughs> with jackie and, I, and the small child in me was like you're in the principal's office <laughs> You must be in trouble. Was Susan getting it? But the scene was all about her welcoming me into um, into the school. school. Yeah, 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 into the faculty. Your relationship with Susan Kennedy, Jackie's character as well, is is quite unique, isn't it? Like you do have that sort of love hate relationship going on there. Like, yeah. yeah how how have you found that? We we loved it. Jackie and I really loved playing off each other. Um, sort of a cat and mouse thing. I mean, she's she's quite. Um, she she really likes Finn in the beginning, thinking you know he's got some great ideas and w- doesn't understand why Ellie is so um, worked up about this guy. You know Finn he comes across as quite a charming young man and he's he's very good with his students and it's not until later on she starts putting all the pieces together. But there is a great cat and mouse thing that Finn and um, Susan have where he knows that she knows. <laughs> And she knows that he knows that she knows. Like yeah, it's there, there is this like cat and mouse, like you said. Yeah. Like, so Jackie and power I, struggle. Oh, we had so much fun playing those little beats and playing those little moments um, throughout it. it. Was yeah, it was that was really rewarding. Well, Neighbours has been such a springboard for success, like to get to Hollywood and uh, film and TV, and also um, for musicians like Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan. Mm-hmm. You've got Margot Robbie, who's you know She's recently. Okay. She's doing okay yeah yeah got a little bit of a girl crush on her actually um we'll, but yeah we'll. <laughs> i can see that um so do you see yourself moving more into into film and tv you said you have like aspirations of that in the future yeah, I, I, I mean as a as an actor you just hope there's another job uh to be honest we are professional auditioners uh <laughs> so we just keep rocking up and seeing if there is another job for us that we i suppose that that suits us or that 
we can uh, find a character for. Um, but yeah, I, I, a TV film would be amazing. Um, or a si- sitcom, maybe a series or something. I could see you in something like Glee. I'd love to do Glee. Yeah. Um, something singing wise would be great. Something comedy. Um, yeah. I, as I said, whatever, whatever job, whatever takes you to the next job is the job I'm looking for. Um, and what is it that you attracts you now to a role? Is it doing something different? Is it something that's challenging you in some way, or is um, is it just you know getting good work? Working with just, good people, yeah. Working with good people um, is always just, you know, that's a, a bonus. It's a, absolutely a bonus. Um, I, I really wanted to do some more comedy, and this audition came up. Actually, I got a, a part in a in a play back in Australia, uh, around the world in eighty days, which is a three hander, and there's a lot of slapstick, a lot of um, you're playing different characters, um, you're doing role reversal stuff throughout it. It's a really fast paced comedy. It's a lot of a lot of scripts, a lot of, but it's that's the you always do the things that scare you. You have to do the things that scare you to... So then you realise, oh, I did that. Like, like your neighbours shooting, you know, 15 scenes in a day. You're like, okay. And then you do it and you're like, oh, that's not so bad. So the next time you get 10 scenes in a day, you're like, what, I did 15? Nothing. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, just keep doing the things that scare you and then... Pushing boundaries. Yeah, pushing boundaries. That's what I'm going to keep keep trying to do. Oh, you're doing it very well. You really do have a very impressive CV and portfolio of work. And I just think you you just got so much scope. You kind of, the world is your oyster with that. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, I'm hoping to maybe uh, bring bring my world to, to London. Hopefully they'll have me here as well soon. I'm sure we would love to have you here. There's just, there's so much going on in London as well. And there's so many filmmakers. There's Sundance going on at the moment. Oh, wow. um, are you able to see anything this weekend? It's only on the 4th, uh, 1st to the 4th of June. No, I wish. I've got dinner with friends tonight and then I feel, uh, I catch the train to Paris tomorrow I've never been so I'm doing four or five days uh, with my German friend who's, who's meeting me there we're going to the city of love together two, <laughs> two straight guys just cheering an Airbnb for a few days okay. two straight guys two just, straight guys. just guys. pointing that out just doing a little Airbnb <laughs> love story <laughs> Keep watching my Instagram story for uh, for updates. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be my first my first time in in the city of love, which I'm really I'm actually really looking forward to. Um, then you know having having nothing to do but be a tourist for you know four or five days, which would be great. I like that you'll have an amazing time. Paris is wonderful. Okay. Um, I want to do a quick fire round with you, so yeah, I've go. just got a few questions. Okay. Okay. Do I need to just brace myself, get no, ready? No, it's nothing too serious, actually. That's my matter. Yeah, maybe have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your method, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can do some stretching. Yeah, I'll yeah. Maybe some vocal exercises. Yeah, more, more, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm loving his work. I'm loving his work. It's natural. Um, okay, singing or acting? <sighs> That's tough. Uh, can I say get to say musical theatre? That's both. Uh, <laughs> you can say both. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you it's have the that. Ge- it's the Gemini in me. <laughs> so you might just get me. Uh, yeah. Was it your birthday recently then? Uh, in June. three weeks. Ah. Twenty first of June. Twenty first of June. Happy birthday from the fan carpet. Thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks, thanks for singing. I know you're all singing happy birthday to me now. Hippie hooray! Hippie hooray! <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of birthday messages, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vegemite or Marmite? Oh, Vegemite. Oh, Marmite. Are you, are you serious? That's disgusting. Uh, Marmite, definitely. No way. Well, definitely we'll, Marmite. We shall never be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so close, so close. Um, neighbours or home and away? Oh, neighbours. <laughs> Hands down. Oh, yeah. Well, I grew up in Melbourne, um, and it's there's, there's, something, there's something I love most about um, Melbourne, about, about neighbours being in Melbourne, because it's... It's quite dark all the time, you know? Like, imagine... All right, if you're an actor on Home and Away, you shoot at the beach 24-7, 365 days a year. That doesn't sound that bad. No. <laughs> Sydney gets cold. It gets, get, gets just as cold as Melbourne, so you have to do beach scenes in, in like, the, the middle of winter. Oh, and I've shot on a beach in Bournemouth in the freezing cold, and it was supposed to be summer. It was so, not fun. I feel sorry for those guys. <laughs> uh, we don't have that in Navis. Uh, I just I just think... I, I, I mean, I love Australian soap and I love Australian drama. Um, and I tell you what, both of them have done extremely well. But there's, yeah, there's something about um, Neighbours I just love. The longevity and the characters, yeah. Yeah, do you still watch both? Uh, yeah, every now and again I'll, I will flick on. I've, my, my old housemate um, in Sydney, he's a Kiwi. He just did a big stint uh, on Home and Away. And uh, also Penny McNamee is... Um, oh, I should know her character name. I don't know her character name. Um, I did Wicked with her years ago. Uh-huh. She played Nessa Rose, and she's a regular on there at the moment. Oh, so you're supporting so, your, yeah, your, course, your friends. Your mates, yeah. Yeah. Do you watch Neighbours? Do you ever watch yourself back, or do you find that really cringy? I was, at a, yeah, I, was I popped into Olympia's house uh, the other night, and she had it on, so I was watching it 
watching a little bit, and uh, we're pretty good. <laughs> no. You're like, damn, I'm good. No, no, you, <laughs> Time I look good on screen. You, you, do, you do watch it, and you... I think everyone is their own worst critic. So you, you do watch it, but, ah, yeah, my face was really weird. That or, or I wasn't really being present. Or you, you, you do critique yourself. So, yeah, I watch it always. I have to watch it back. Not every episode, but I watch it back and take notes and... See how you can improve. Yeah, definitely. It's the only way you can. Yeah, absolutely. Because you uh, shoot so fast as well. Yeah. How many cameras do they use now? Uh, they're usually on two, sometimes three. That's just insane. Yeah. <laughs> Gym or duvet day? Oh, see, this is the Gemini. My brain goes yeah. both, both rather. Both at the same time. Yeah, both at the same time. Gym for me, uh, something about the endorphins and feeling good, and it just makes you feel great. Yeah. Do you start your day with exercise, or do you? Yeah. yeah, and if I haven't been for a few days, I notice even my um, state of mind not feeling so good. I'm exactly the same. Yeah. It does. I mean, it really affects. Can only get in cups of tea here in, yeah. in London. Can only get you so far. I think it's the natural um, endorphins and adrenaline that you can create. It makes you feel better. Yeah, absolutely agree with that. Um, Ellie or Xanthi? Oh, if I said Xanthi, that is wrong. <laughs> she is 17. Okay. Wrong on so many levels. Um, Finn, Finn just loves. He just loves Ellie. She just won't love him back. <laughs> But I love Xanthi, like I love Lil, Lil, she's just such a, I mean, she, she, I think she hates being compared to Margot Robbie, and I'm sure she, she'll get it a lot over the next few years. I would not hate being compared to Margot Robbie, I have oh, to no, say. I think she wants, obviously she wants to carve her own, and she will, she will definitely carve her own um, career path. Um, she's a brilliant, brilliant actress. I, I, yeah, some of the scenes coming up in the next few weeks, you watch her, she's just... She's incredible, yeah. Uh, she's, but and this is, again, a stepping stone for her. Like, it's an incredible stepping stone. Oh, yeah. Like, she can and go on to do... You know she didn't know acting before? See, I really hate people like this. She just, <laughs> stepped right into it and just brilliant. And she, it's kind of like you. Yeah, you know, le- learning on... She kind of fell into it and, fell, and learnt on the job. It's like an apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But she's just... I think she's just so eager, she, eager to learn. Yeah, maybe sim- similar to me. Um, just really, really, yeah, really keen to learn from everyone. Always asking for, for help if she if she needs it. Yeah. Yeah, because again, she just wants to get better and better. So. Do you have any advice for people just starting out, maybe who want to get into this industry? Do you, would you say train, 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 or would you say, I would say fake it till you make it? I would say perform. Go the 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 one thing that we as performers that you, the the first hurdle that you need to get past is auditioning. If you're a you may be a great singer or a great actor. But if you can't if you can't audition well, no one's ever going to get to see you do that. So I would start going to going to gigs, getting up. If it if it means reading poetry in front of people, if it means reading a monologue in front of your friends, if it means if you want to be a singer, going to sing in front of people or singing in a band or just jumping up at an open mic, getting past that first stage of fear. Mm-hmm. And that do you think it, failure is part of it? Do you think you have to yeah, crash? You have to suck. You have to be. You have, <laughs> you have to crash and burn to to get better. Yeah, it's the only it's the only way. I mean, I've done some terrible auditions and left there going, "Well, you stuffed that up, Rob. Uh, you will never work in this town again." But it doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means, oh, it's because I wasn't I wasn't prepared. Yeah. And always always be prepared. Um, if you're auditioning for a, for a musical, find a song that suits the character that you're about to play or find a song that resonates with yourself. So when you're singing it, the joy that you have singing it resonates with the... There's, there's one thing that... Um, uh, as a, if you're watching something, right? If you're watching a play and you see someone who's nervous on stage... You can feel that energy. Yeah, naturally, and naturally empathetic humans, mm-hmm. right? Except for Finn Kelly. No, <laughs> Not that guy. Right. <laughs> but we watch, you watch that person and you feel uncomfortable. So your first job as a performer, actor, singer, whatever, is making the audience feel comfortable. That's all you have to do. Mm-hmm. The rest is the work that you put in. But make, be, feel comfortable in yourself, and then it makes it a lot easier for the rest of it. Preparation is key. That's very good advice. 100%. Mm-hmm. Look, so prepped. Look. <laughs> <laughs> villain or good guy? Oh, I, like I kind of answered this earlier. I like, I like the villain now. I'm, yeah. yeah. They're always the best characters to play. Yeah. But you kind of said, you know, Finn is a good guy, you think, essentially, at heart. Yeah. But then th- that's the key as well to acting is that you can't play a role and ever think you're the bad guy. Yeah, you, you've got to know that, excuse me, what you're doing is for the, for the greater good or he... People always justify their actions yeah. as well. So they're, they're Unless they're, as I said, psychopaths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the, there's no reasoning or rationale with those sort of people. Yeah. yeah, but in their own mind, they think they're doing the right thing. Yeah, exactly. 
and I think Finn Finn is one of those guys. I I do enjoy playing. Yeah, playing the villain at the moment has been great. I've been playing the good guy a lot. So. Have you seen Beauty and the Beast? I was meant to do a production of it last year, but I got sick. I got um, I lost my voice and I couldn't do the role I was doing guest on. Oh, see, I could see you as Gaston. Yeah. I, I saw the, the Disney film recently, yeah. and it's amazing. Oh, and it? Yeah, I mean, Luke Evans is amazing. Oh, as, yeah. <laughs> Roger. Um, but I could see you in something like that, because that would just play all your strengths. That would be, yeah, he, he was amazing. The Gaston was great. Yeah, uh, everyone was, was... So good. Yeah, it was beautiful. I've, it's a, such a beautiful show. I'm glad that Disney are making these old school, you know, the cartoons into 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 films. I wonder and then you've got the live action and mm. CGI. I wonder what they'll do next. Ah. Fiora would be great. Uh, if you're watching Mark Platt, I know that you uh, you watch this show. He's the producer of Universal, so... <laughs> so cast him. Yeah, if you're watching Mark, that would be great. Um, love or money? Love, always. Ah, money. I'm glad he answered that really quickly. Yeah, like, money comes and goes. Love is forever, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Melbourne or London? Oh, don't, don't do this to me. <laughs> London, London, Melbourne's London. Got, Melbourne's got the Aussie rules. It's got my family there. It's got the weather. It's got, it's got the weather. It's got neighbours. You know what? Melbourne for now and um, London for later. How about that? Oh, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. London has loved having you here and we look forward to seeing you back again very soon. Thank you very much. Yeah, Season. absolute pleasure. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.